Hello YouTube! So today I'm going to make a tutorial about Photoski. That is a program uh, to edit photos or um, create GIFs and also you can um, create new photos or make some uh, frames about it. Um, I have a friend of mine that we are we write a lot of fan fictions together and we use I I use this program to make sometimes uh, illustrations about the, the fiction and sometimes I get uh, I said to her uh, oh come on you have to do something uh, I I can't do every time and I get the always the same answer I have a lot of problems I'm, I don't know how so today I'm going to make this tutorial she has no excuse to not do this again uh, I have some image here and this just uh, Amelia Clarks you know Game of Thrones and all that um, so in this uh, photoscape program you have the this circle here with a lot of options you can choose to edit your photo or make a page this is what we're going to talk about and we will see that make a page and uh, go to editor it will be the same thing then only have one image and make the edition of it so we'll make a page then we'll go to editor and then to combine we'll talk about only these three things because uh, we have for example gift and I only work with gift only one time and it wasn't good <laughs> so I'm, I'm not going to talk about this and the rest yeah, as you can see this is in Portuguese when you, in my language if you have English you will understand better and well it's more pretty in all paper stuff so let's go to page and here you have a lot of templates layouts layouts yeah uh, a bunch of them and you can choose whether you want three photos uh, two photos or you can see that you have almost the the same way or but up and down left and right here and here as you can see and you have I think if you're not mistaken to um, two photos to 12 uh, to 12 I think maximum maximum is 12 I think I'm not sure uh, but it's a way it's just a matter of you to um, explore this so we will choose something very simple like this one and there is two simple ways for you to put the photos in here you can click on it and if you click eventually come on yes thank you it will appear um, the window and you will choose where your photos are and yeah and you can okay wait and you can make it bigger and move around and all that and or you can just drag as you can see the problem of uh, this part is that if you don't know exactly where do you have the photos you have to go browsing about it and it takes a lot of time so in my opinion this way drag and drop it's much much better as you can see and if you want to instead of this photo put like this one you can just delete and drag the other one or you can just drag over it it's going to do the same thing let's just put this one because it's in uh, no it's black and white I'm going to talk about black and white let's put this one here and then put this one here and then let's put this one in here make it a little bigger so you have this one you have a little little very little 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 uh, edition in this in the page that is in right click of the mouse and you have here you have grey, sepia, black and white, shine, 
dark and you can restore to original photo and you can also have a border that doesn't black but in here these things it only applies to one single photo as you can see if I want this photo I've got to go there and change this so if you want to make individual changes you can make in here because since the moment you go to editor it all becomes one and you only if you change to sepia everyone will change to sepia so imagine that you are doing some stuff in here and then you, you want to go back to the original photo you have here restore you click it and all the effects will be removed so and you can also do uh, rotate and all that let's leave it just original and then we go here uh, to the scale and apply the maximum one they stay very very big and this is very good because uh, if when you save it will get the high quality of the, the images and you can also make March I forgot to tell you about that the March here does do that. Something like that, and you can change the colors. You can also do this in the, um, in the editor. Um, but then again, the editor will just do this yellow one outside. This one's in here, they won't appear. I normally do zero much. So let's do the scale. Now, let's go editor. So the editor has a lot of things for you to do since the um, black and white stuff, uh, contrast, colors and text, frames and you can also put some objects uh, like faces, smiles and all that. Let's, let's begin with black and white so you um, sepia and all that. You have in here this stuff, the squares. So you have sepia Sepia, sepia, sepia. As you can see, each time I click, he applies the sepia to the image there is. Or what I mean is, if it is sepia, I'm going to apply gray. He will apply the gray to the sepia, and if I put black and white, he will apply the black and white to the gray that is also applied to the to the sepia. So you have to be careful when you're playing with this. So let's just annul everything, and you can redo. Or I can annul, it's in all, alright. You can also put negative and then apply sepia on it. You just so if you want to play with this. You can also find these uh, things in here, in the color, sh uh, shining color. And you will also find it in filter, in here, in the focal region. We'll go there. Uh, talking about color and shine and all that so in here the first this first is sepia and these things here this part is about um, uh, the balance of the colors for example let's click on here and you give it a shine in here as you can see it's just to play a little bit with the colors but it's not exactly precise this way you have the the curves they're more and more precise and it, it plays very different so you can choose any one of them because when you click in one of them it will appear this window and you have the tree as you can see and you can move around so let's start with the color yeah great let's be serious about this okay as you can see you can, you, you can give her more details on the color and on the shine, make a little bit darker. And then you have to be careful with this center here when, because you we give her a lot of saturation. And when you take back, you take back all the colors. And then you have to play around with that too. Oh, this is finished. I really like it. So, here, here you have. She's it, 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 sorry, <laughs> it's not so yellow in the center of the face. Uh, but this part here with the colors, um, you have to 
play with it and see where the line where where is the point where the lines are together uh, where they can align to make a good image and don't make like I was making to make her black uh, a lot of black and contrast and all that let's move on uh, you can also hear I think this is one oh, wait yeah I don't know if you th this one's here it shows very 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 little it depends on the colors it uh, it works better if uh, the color is uh, uh, whites and uh, white gray some things like that they're very very white you can see them change it's very very small change uh, you have in here a photo contracts uh, and shine and go more dark photo and all that I'm not talking about this shine the contrast in here because because the contrast in here are just three steps high medium and low and in here you have more contracts is going to zero to to hundred percent. So let's get the contrast in here. So you have this image, right? And now uh, you are done with it. And then you think about, oh wait, but I want to make some contrast and all that. You can do it in uh, here. You click on it, and this window will appear. Now you have this problem when you are doing effects over effects you can set it will saturate your image so I don't recommend that if you are doing some effects just stop don't make effects over effects because it will get ugly as you, as you can see I like I love to do the contrast and especially obscure as you can see I don't, I don't like this the way that it is but I can also play maybe with the level of the contrast and this one I put always in the the maximum is to make some um, a blur because when you have an image there are not HD it, yeah HD. Um, when you have that type of image uh, have the blur on the on the maximum it helps a lot so let's first null everything and now let's make some contracts. Now things get better, I, I think I, I prefer. She really looks like she has an error around her. And you can define also just an area, you can just do her head as you can see. You can show the size and the plum. The plum is very important because Watch very closely. Close. What's hap what's happening? As you can see, as I go around from hundred to, to zero, here we go. Exactly what what I was going through. So it's good to have the plume more or less in tw uh, tw twenties. I think. Um, wait. Yeah, seven percent is more. It's good. It's already blurred and you can see it. And you can also move move around like this and put on 100. There you have the image image again from everything. This is a, a very good way to play with contrast and all that. The shine is also good, but the shine is better when you have sun and white white colors and vivid colors because it looks like they are shining it's, it's better uh, another thing that you can make effect it's movie effect great you have movie effect in here and you also have moving effect on the filter in here we go in here okay and you have a lot of them as you can see the movie effects change I normally use uh, this one or this one. I really like them. Uh, and there is another one here. This one and this one. This is you have. Uh, this is the uh, movie effects more personalized, as you can say that, because you can move between high, low, and medium and grayscale, or you can come just on the arrow and choose. There you go. Same thing. 
So how's a, how how oh, my my English today is a crap. As I was going to say, in filter, you have a lot of things that you have on the others. So, move effects. This, if you remember, are the black border, as you can see. And the black border, you can change this. As they are above, around, up and down. But the two is selected, so I have to take this off. Who likes this stuff? Please do. <clears throat> old photos. I love old, old photos. I did a fan fiction about uh, two girl, two girls. Yeah, they 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 belong to a pleasure house, and most of the um, the image of the fan fiction had this style because they are old and all that. And you can play with it and make original uh, or make. Grayscale, uh, it's up to you. It's very, very nice way to play with this. Uh, you, yeah, you have uh, some shine, blur. In here, this ones here are these things. I don't like very much because I I lose the the ability to understand sometimes the image. So I honestly don't. Mm, don't use this. But if you like it, it's a uh, oh a very good way to play with some stuff. My face. So. <clears throat> so we talk about this here and we talk about this here, except for one thing: the region. The region is good. The region involves a lot of the effects that we talked about, and with a specific region for you to put it. For example, let's choose. This one that I was talking about, but I don't want her face. So as you can see, everyone, uh, everything around her is with the effect except the face. But if I click here, invert, as you can see, her face stayed with the effect, and everything around just loses it. Um, it's also very good. <clears throat> this one's here is the ones that I like. So this one, the first, uh, this is in, a, in the in Portuguese. So it's difficult for me to tell you exactly in English because it's a very long name. <laughs> and in here you have the drawing parts and to make a pen or pencil. You say right. It's an oil painting. It's good. I normally don't use this. I think I only use one time uh, was to make uh, a painting to illustrate um, the painting that a character are made. Yeah. Uh, then again, it's up to you. This is the illusions or the, the a way to dis disturb the image. I normally use this one. I just don't. I like it. Except the two. The level two, it goes vertical. I don't. I never do that. But you can see the rest of the, the illusions are, are good. I'm not saying there is good to use it all the time but one or two times depending and you have another one you have the waves just go clicking and see what they do and they have the glass just go experiment the, uh, in, the good thing in this is when you click on X it removes the effect or you can click in here Null everything, null, null everything, and it will take everything you did. So let's just put like this effect. Go to object. In object, you have these things here. As you can, of course, you know what it is. I mean, everyone knows what it is. Even in paint, has it. Uh, yeah, it's the circles and stars and all that. So you can add text with the T. I already have this one here, this for another video, so let's just put it. Okay, so you have this text, now you're going to see what happens to it according to the things that I'm going to do. Okay, so the first thing you have is text, and you can move it around with this italic 
and this is the part that word has uh, everyone knows what it is here this color is the color that you want to have inside and in here is the color you, you want to have outside and then you can choose if you want a home fake you want to sorry I think you want the line you can also move things in here as you can see it's good and you also can place shades no no it's one, maybe this one yeah and you can make opacity make this one like that and make this one like that or very very thin opacity and stuff wait yeah, yes, it's, as you can see, the oh, oh it goes to all into 20. It's moving the shade up and down, and in here, you can move the text, or you can just click OK and move it in here. It's your choice, right? Another thing that I like is the hearts. The hearts are the icons. I look at them, they are so cute. This is good uh, when you like to choose this kind of thing. So, oh my god, let's just put Emily Clark with baby eyes, crying baby eyes. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, okay, let's put her cry because Carl Drogo da died in the movie and her baby. In the movie, oh my god, in the series, really. There you go, Millie Clark, you're amazing. As you can see, there are a lot of things you can do with this, and you have a lot of options. Yeah, just like this. And you can also uh, here add another photo to, to here, like click it, photo. Yay! And you can make it opacity and all that. No, I don't want to. And then you go. And save. Save has. Let's put on desktop. Okay. Let's move everything. Open it. And there you go. You have an illustration of what your fan fiction is in this case. Actually, it doesn't. Okay. It has nothing to do with this. <laughs> I will never put you in a clock with eyes like this or poor girl. Well, I think it's. I'll thank you for watching.